Well, BC Hydro is yanking a thousand smart meters to check them for accuracy, but that recall doesn't come in time for a man in Saanich. He's angry about his big hydro bill and the utility's customer service, so he's now going to move to a new house where he hopes he will pay much less. In the meantime, the opposition's energy critic is calling for a full review by the Utilities Commission and says it's time BC Hydro came clean about the smart meters. CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports. We've taped off our front door so there's no drafts. We put new weather stripping on the back door. Um, we've insulated the windows. We've made sure there's no drafts. We've got no heat. We're freezing. The last we heard from Colin Campbell, he was waiting for BC Hydro to call him back after his bill skyrocketed, despite taking all the measures Hydro suggested. Fast forward a month. A supervisor called me back. They said, nope, your meter reading is correct. You have to pay the bill. He was astounded. Let's check the meter reading or send somebody out. Nope, your meter reading was correct. That you have to pay the bill. His story is becoming all too common at this office. I have received 6,780 emails since the implementation of the smart meter program. The complaints, he says, must be why BC Hydro has switched out a thousand meters recently. It strikes me that that's not a quality control issue, that's a damage control issue. Not so, says the utility. We actually are installing a, a fairly large, complicated system. And as we're doing that, we're doing routine testing to ensure that the meters are actually meeting all of our specifications. We've already tested 600 of the 1,000 meters, and there have been absolutely no problems identified with them. She equates larger bills to increased usage and the occasional human error, a song Hydro has been singing all along. Absolutely. You know, we are seeing some customers that have higher bills, and sometimes it is an error on our part um, in relation to meter reading. What I can tell you, though, is not one case has actually been linked to the smart meter. So in four months, I'm paying over $1,000 for Hydro on a 900-square-foot house. Not for much longer, Colin is moving, frustrated that he has no choice but to use BC Hydro. If I had the money, I'd, I'd dump, I'd dump $100,000 into solar panels and wind generators and go right off the grid if I could. Instead, he's found a place with a wood stove. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.